Sophie, hey. Hi. Where have you been? I have a few follow-up questions for our interview. <laughs> Sorry, I've been busy with stuff. Well, my sources tell me that you signed up for the teen volunteer program. I wouldn't exactly say signed up. <laughs> hey, I get it. Now my parents put pressure on me too. Yeah. My dad was the editor of his high school paper. So. Oh. Yeah. I just wanted to start out fresh, and now I'm following in her footsteps. So. Well, wait, your mom was a big shot doctor in New York, right? <laughs> yeah, my dad was too. Mm -hmm. And your parents, they're, they're divorced or? No, I mean, not really. My dad is in Africa, and he's doing humanitarian work, like, you know, getting kids vaccines and surgeries and all of that. He's supposed to come back this summer. I don't know, they wanted him to stay longer, or I guess he wanted to stay longer, I don't know. No, no, I'm sure he really misses you. Yeah, maybe. But this is a great fresh start. All of our cousins live here, and there's a job opening, so it's just like, we're here, out of way USA. <laughs> yeah, I know it's not New York, but you know. <laughs> you're, you're, you're a triplet, so you already have like two built-in friends already. Honestly, we're not even really that close. It's just like we have the same mom and dad. <laughs> well, I mean, I know that you at least have one big fan here. And once I publish this interview, I think you'll have a lot more. So. Okay, okay. I promise we'll finish the interview, but I gotta go. <laughs> it was mostly good news today. Dr. Anderson said that my scans are looking better and they might be able to release me soon. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. We miss you at home and at work. And on that note, I've got to go. Heading to the station, Miho? Yeah, I'm tracking down a lead on that hit and run. Still no suspects. You're an Aguilar. We always get our bad guy. <laughs> always, Mama. Do me a favor, will you? Keep an eye on Cody for me. Why? He has a hearing coming up. If he's getting into any trouble, I need to know about it. So stay close. Yeah, you got it. Hey, you wanted to see me, Doctor? Yes. I just had a very interesting phone call with Ruth Fletcher. Oh. I'm not sure what that... Did you visit her at her dorm? I mean, I did, yes. But she left all her pamphlets and didn't make a follow-up appointment, so oh, I was just Bianca. trying to... I know your heart was in the right place, but that was inappropriate. You're lucky she was calling to set up an ultrasound appointment instead of filing a complaint. She took my advice? Yes, she did. But that does not mean you are off the hook. While you were out on your little excursion, your fellow volunteers were still on duty. So you will be working the fundraiser this week instead of attending it. Understood? I think we can test him now. Yeah, thanks for getting me stuck on snack duty every afternoon for the rest of the school year. I know, I'm sorry. I couldn't think of anything else to say. Besides, it's the perfect cover. I mean, my treatments are after school, you're here after school. It all checks out. Come on, Soap, I have cancer. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that's emotional blackmail. It's not like we're not already friends. This is just a bonus. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'm only doing this because I'm your friend. <laughs> I'm having such a good time the other day. <laughs> yeah, me too. Hey, I guess first impressions aren't always correct, right? <laughs> You're so funny, Cody. It's one of my favorite things about you. So what are you thinking for our next date? Next date? Hey, Allie, listen. Oh, hey, are you okay? I'm fine. Yeah? What's wrong with you, Bianca? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Are you our best friend? Yeah. So I know how emotional she is. 
trust me, she does this all the time. <laughs> She'll get over it. Alex? Yeah. Never mind. Wow, uh, today's full of surprises. How so? My mom got really good news today, and now you're helping me? Well, just don't get used to it. Your mom, it was cancer, right? Is she, like, cured now or whatever? Uh, no, uh, but she's doing a lot better, and she might even get released soon, so. That is good news. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. Are you gonna tell me why you were crying, Bianca? Cody and I were having a major moment. I just wanna be alone, okay? I got into trouble with Dr. Anderson for giving Ruth her prenatal pamphlet. Of course you did. If I had known you were gonna be such a troublemaker, I never would have brought you along. What do you mean, brought me along? Like I always do. It's like I always have to think for both of us. That's not true and you know it. Isn't it though? Ever since the third grade when I had to switch us from theater to art class because you couldn't remember your lines. No, we had to stop because your mom said you couldn't do it anymore. <sighs> Newsflash, Bianca. I lied. We had to switch because you weren't good and I didn't want you to be embarrassed. But I'm sick of changing everything in my life for you. It's not fair. I know what I want and I don't need you getting in the way of it. I'm going to be on Dr. Time and I'm going to homecoming with Cody. <sighs> so, how are you feeling after your PT session? Like I just got hit by a car. Sorry, I, that's probably a stupid question. Um, I, I, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing. It's my first day here and I'm not very good at talking to patients yet. Are you sure you even wanna be here? Honestly, no. I didn't even really sign up. Then why did you? Because of lip my friend, um, my friend from New York, you wouldn't know her, she doesn't live here, but she has cancer. Um, so I'm just doing this for her to share the pain. That's really nice of you, but you shouldn't be doing this for other people. Well, I'm not, I'm not totally. I just, I, I like being here. I like helping people. I guess I'm not used to all the socializing. Back home, I didn't have many friends. Just relax. Your company is more of a comfort than you know. And that's enough. Well, I've got to get back and check in with some patients, but if you don't mind, maybe I can come and visit you again after your next PT session. I like that. Hey, Mom. No, I can't ride home with Ali today. Yeah, I'll be waiting for you outside. I love you too. Bye. Hey, is the coast finally clear? <laughs> Very funny. Ali and I got into a little disagreement, but it's no big deal. Hey, well, if there's ever anything you want to talk about, you can always tell me. <laughs> Thanks, Cody. I'm going. My mom's waiting for me outside. I have to go. Next time on Attaway General. Did I?
do something to make you mad? No, sorry, it's just my stupid brother. You didn't answer any of my texts. I deleted them. We don't need to talk about it. Would you maybe want to go to the fundraiser with me? No. Next time on Juniors. I thought Grace was designing the posters. Let's use Ellie's. <laughs> Is that why you're wearing such a fancy necklace to impress the homecoming committee? Don't give it to me. Next time on Chipping Girls. Kara had a family emergency, so she'll be skipping this morning. Are we sure she doesn't have some secret boyfriend? I know just a thing for you. What is it? A dance team. We have an open spot. Bailey's got a lot on her plate right now. She doesn't have to know.